Aloha and welcome back to the channel. Um, really quickly, we're going to do a flight up to Taunton, Massachusetts, which I've frequently done in the sim. Very used to that flight. But we're going to do it this time with Say Intentions AI. So I have the audio piped through the screen. So we will dial up the ATIS on 127.0. Two one five six Zulu, wind two four zero at one seven, visibility one zero, sky conditions solid overcast at seven five zero zero feet, temperature seven. Dew point four. Altimeter two nine or six five. Visual approaches in use. Advise on course heading altitude and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway and hold short instructions. VFR departures contact clearance delivery on one two one point six five. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Victor. Rotten New London Airport information, Victor. Two one five six Zulu. Wind 240 at 17. Visibility 10. Sky conditions, solid overcast at 7500 feet. Temperature 7. Dew point 4. Altimeter 2965. Visual approaches in use. Advise on course heading altitude and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway and hold short instructions. VFR departures contact clearance delivery on 121.65 advise on initial contact you have information Victor. Rotten New London Airport information Victor. 2156 Zulu. Wind 240 at 17. Visibility 10. Sky conditions, solid overcast at 7500 feet. Temperature 7. Alright, so now we're going over to ground. Rotten Ground, Skyhawk, November 701, Lima Juliet, at Ramp Parking 6, with information Victor, request flight following to Taunton Municipal Airport, KTAN, at 3,500 feet. Groton Ground, Skyhawk, 701 Lima Juliet, uh, copy all, uh, maintain VFR at or below 3,500 feet, squawk 2646, departure 12575, expect runway 33.
Okay, I didn't get a read. It didn't tell me read back was correct, but it showed up on the screen. <clears throat> Broughton Ground, Skyhawk, 701 Lima Juliet, ready for taxi. Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet uh, request taxi clarification do you mean Charlie to Delta across 23 to runway 33 hold short at this runway Charlie goes to Delta Delta crosses 23 and uh, the threshold you get to Delta you actually end up at the threshold of runway 33 so I'm asking for ta I'm asking for taxi clarification. <clears throat> if I don't get it, I'll just go. And what I forgot to do, which I will do right now, is I will over here and I will alt tab to connect my electronic flight bag because like an idiot I didn't do that <clears throat> all right and there we are now the airports go back open the airport diagram It's not showing me. I mean, this is odd. That's why. So let's go up here and So we're just going to taxi out via, it gave me Charlie, I'm going to go Charlie to Delta, um, which I know is the right way. Broughton Ground, Skyhawk 701, Lima Juliet, holding short runway 23. Uh, request to cross runway 23 to continue taxi. Ground Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet Roger Cross Runway 23 Contact Tower 125 Decimal 6 when ready for departure.
Alright, are we coming? It's actually a little fast, so I'm going to slow down a little. And I'm going to skip my run up. Uh, the whole purpose of this is just to test out the AI, not so much to go through all the motions. I'm a little, a little to the right, but I'll live. And here we are holding short. Rotten Tower, Skyhawk 701, Leaming Juliet, holding short runway 33, request taxi, VFR departure to the north. I just hit the send button even though I clicked the transmit button. Let's see if the uh, it's really slow getting back to me. Move this up here a little. So you can see it. It knows what I said. just isn't doing anything with it. And I'll click send again. It's just not doing anything with what I said. So it seems a little glitchy right now. Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet taxi to runway tree tree via Alpha Charlie. Contact tower on 125.6 when ready for departure. I've already talked to them. I already have permission to cross runway two three so this is it's like it went back in time it's inconsistent <clears throat> and it it shifted me over um that was weird Groton Tower Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet uh, holding short runway three three request departure VFR to the north On the tower, one two five decimal six. Skyhawk November seven zero one Lima Juliet Groton New London Tower winds calm runway tree tree cleared for takeoff. After takeoff, fly runway heading then on reaching pattern altitude turn right on course to the north. Grand Tower Skyhawk seven zero one Roger clear for takeoff. I have to take off, fly, runway heading, then reach pattern altitude, turn right, course north. 701 and Juliet. And again, I'm not a real pilot, so if anything I'm saying is wrong, you know, feel free to, to bash me in the comments. I'm, my, my real goal here is to is to you know, see how good the AI is going to be with me. Get nice and centered up here. And now let's go. heading to about 1,500 feet, uh, then course to the north. 
dial in my course now, which it's going to be about course 068. Now we're coming to our course. And there we go. Alright, we're a little north of our track, but that's not too shabby. I was a little off on pattern altitude, but oh well. <clears throat> and then let's go to departure. Run departure Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet 800 feet climbing 3500 uh, VFR to Taunton Municipal. Departure Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet at 1100 climbing 3500 VFR to Taunton Municipal. I think I screwed up. I don't think I had uh, done my shift over to the departure frequency. Skyhawk November 701 Lima Juliet Providence approach radar contact. Providence Approach, Skyhawk 701, Lima Juliet, 1,500, climbing 3,500. Providence Approach, Skyhawk 701, Lima Juliet, Roger, copy all. Good.
almost at 3,500. Providence Approach, Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet, 3,500. So we're on 3,500. We are on heading at altitude. Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet, Roger maintain VFR at or below 3,500. Proceed on course to Thompson Municipal. <laughs> Providence Approach, Skyhawk 701, Lima Juliet. Thank you. Have a good day. Well, let, let's see if I get anything back from that. Nope. Got nothing back. I want to see how chatty the AI is. Apparently, it's not that chatty today. minutes on this path. We're doing good. We're at 2646. And up here, and I'll bring this over so you can see it. And there's my mouse. And you can kind of see here, 2646, 2646. That's who we're flying over right now. There was my thank you. Have a good day. So what you're saying is in green. What they're saying is there. Uh, I'll put it back up over here. Kind of out of the way a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, we're doing good. Well, I've been consistently having that glitch with taxi instructions um, it, in the same tensions isn't familiar with the runway layout or the taxiways um, at the airport I fly you know typically try to fly out of <clears throat> so it'll give me via alpha but it'll never tell me go, to go via Delta unless I correct it um, and then when I ask it for a correction it either won't come back to me at all or it'll come back a little different minutes you may notice my screen is a little askew over there something happened on the Windows update um, which stops me from right-clicking and shifting my position um, I, I don't know what it was it's, sometimes after a wind a uh, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator update, I'll get a glitch that'll do that to me. This is one of those times, apparently. Alright, so let's start the sitting here, make sure going back on power a little bit. Alright. That looks good on our mixture. Everything looks good. Uh, was in green. Actually, the fuel flow is still still pretty high. Both, both fuel tanks are full. Pressure's good. Temp's good. Now it's good on my mixture. And I've got to set about. 350, 2400 on RPMs, right green. And we're making uh, 127 knots over ground, uh, about 118 <coughs> airspeed.
We have more traffic over there. And I turned traffic off. So that's kind of odd. Um, in the settings, you can actually tell it to not have other traffic around you or whatever. So I'm going to guess that it's just Microsoft Flight Simulator traffic. And I have turned off, or I'm not listening to their air traffic control. I'm only listening to, say, intentions. Coming up on Providence Airport. Should be up that way. TF Green. Seven. Here it is. So Missing some notes on this little um, BFR flight pad that we do that I found on Amazon. Um, There's Providence KPBD, which is directly up here. It's right there. should be
is a VFR pl uh, flight. I don't expect to hear too, too much, but um, we may. Last time I did this, I got a bunch of call outs um, during the flight itself. They kept asking me to change my, uh, my transponder code. God knows why. any second now I should hear them tell me how many miles I am and the uh, direction of airport that I'm assuming Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet, contact Providence Approach on 123.675. Providence Approach, Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet, contact Providence Approach on 123.675. Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet. Providence Pro, Skyhawk 701, Lima Juliet, 3500, VFR to Taunton Municipal. Skyhawk November 701, Lima Juliet, Providence Approach. Roger. Random British accent. Hmm. Who knew?
Skyhawk November 701, Lima Juliet Providence approach Taunton Airport at your 1 2 o'clock 1 3 miles. Change to advisory frequency approved. Squawk VFR, have a good evening. Providence approach, Skyhawk 701, Lima Juliet, have a great day. Squawk and VFR, and we're going to change to advisory frequency, which was 122.7. So, one two two seven on advisory frequency. is in use. Advise on initial contact you have information Lima. Taunton Municipal King Field Information Lima. 2152 Zulu. Wind 2908 at 8. Visibility 10. Sky conditions. Broken at 8000 feet. Temperature 7. Dew point 11. Altimeter 29064. Visual approach is in use. Advise on initial contact you have information Lima. Taunton Municipal King Field Information Lima. Okay, um, I'm about you know, seven or eight miles south. Um, entering on a downwind. traffic Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet with information Lima uh, downwind in the pattern maybe wrong I'm not sure I just want to throw that out there um, and one thing I also want to point out real quick um, they told me to squawk VFR, which I did. But if you look here, assigned transponder is 2646, according to them. But they told me to squawk VFR. So, I don't know if that's a glitchy thing, a buggy thing. Um, but I'll just mention it right there. So they told me to do one thing, but they're kind of tracking me on something else. Now let's descend. I'm gonna go make 
percentage you're rich because I'm gonna go below three thousand. Three one two to three one zero. When I do get to that point, <clears throat> I'm a little, a little south, but again, not a real pilot, <laughs> so I know I'm uh, making some mistakes as I go. But I will tell you that the uh, having to say intentions, it, it definitely helps you. Um, it, it makes you think about what you're going to say because with Microsoft Flight Simulator you're just clicking on a display you don't really know what's going on up there at all you don't have to um, with here you actually have to think a little bit I mean you can read it off the screen I try not to um, I, I still find myself doing it um, but it does make you think which I like Taunton traffic, Skyhawk 701, Lima Juliet, coming left to base for runway 30, uh, touchdown and full stop. Let's come back over to About zero two five ish. <clears throat> That's good right there. And I'm at about Icara, which I should be. Coming up on Point Icaro, where I should be at about 1,800 feet, so I'm gonna come down to Icaro. And then I'm gonna come left for one way three zero. Taunton traffic, Skyhawk 701, Lima Juliet coming left for final runway 30, full stop landing. Still high. So let's give ourselves some, some down angle here. I know that's probably an excessive down angle, but I'm good with it. way too focused on my gauges and not on how I was lined up for the runway. Landing lights are on. And then I just collapse there. I'm gonna move my, my whiskey compass over a little. Once I can put my mouse in the screen, move my whiskey compass over a little. Okay. Move a little bit more. 
hate the whiskey compass. I say that all the time, but I absolutely do hate the whiskey compass. So it's a horrible landing. Um, my apologies for that. Really just wanted to test out the, uh, the Say Intentions AI. Coming down to our to a nice landing speed here. We're getting there. Yeah, we're at about seven two seven zero. Six nine six eight six six. So let's pull back a little bit of a flare, and we're down. Taxi over. I don't want to speed up too much on the taxi here. And I'll announce clear the active side. And here we are. Taunton traffic. Skyhawk 701 Lima Juliet is clear the active. Now I say clear the active and it says clearly active. So let's drive us over to a parking spot. Let's scoot us up a little. So, um, again, I, I know I made a bunch of mistakes on there. Definitely not a real pilot. Uh, <clears throat> I said clear the active, and it said clearly active. Uh, maybe I should have said clear runway 30. Um, the only recurring issue I've had with say intentions is taxi instructions for the most part, and the transponder code switching. It didn't do it this time as much, but previously they'll yell at me for not being on the right transponder code without telling me what code to be on. Um, but I, I gotta say, I this is about my fourth or fifth flight with uh, the Say Intention software. Uh, and they're all been VFR flights. Um, and I'm getting much more comfortable with talking on the radio. Uh, granted, I, I know I'm making mistakes in these callouts and whatnot, but I am getting much more comfortable doing it. Um, so, as I learn the right way, I, hopefully it'll be more fluent. But that was just a quick flight. I'm a huge fan of the Say Intention software. Please don't take anything I say as criticism of it, because I am a big, big fan. Um, I, I gotta say, it, it makes flying a Microsoft Flight Simulator even more fun. And if you're somebody who gets nervous um, speaking uh, to anybody else on a network, you don't have to be. There are settings in here that allow you to only speak to the computer and nobody else can hear you. Um, and that, that's really helped me out. So, big fan of this. I'll probably do a few more flights with it. Um, hopefully I get better along the way. Uh, yeah, but big fan of the, the Say Intention software. Um, so, that's all I got. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, ask away. Uh, stay safe, and as always, happy flying out there.